Uh, what up, guys? Again, another straight no chases um, that I need to talk about. Again, call it uh, straight no chases daily. I don't know. I don't know what to call these things, so I'm just gonna do it. So, you know, again, just that. You know, in the morning it's traffic, so I just you know I'm gonna just put out content as best as I can, and hopefully you guys could you know like, subscribe, share the video, challenge, and everything. Now. The video I talk, I want to talk about today, and here I go. Like I said, any traffic. The video I want to talk about today. Yes, I understand what it is, but the problem is though, I've said this before. I've lived through this nonsense. Some and and when I was telling this to my mom, she also lived through this. She also has a, had a friend that did this to uh, a good friend that his um, so-called wife did that too. And I've known other stories about that as well so you're gonna listen to something here so again i understand the video but it doesn't make it that ain't true and all that stuff it's a crazy story and think about it is this has happened and i saw uh, i saw a woman says men trap women more than women trap men and i was like what lucky for me i got my sound effects but it's like what are you and let's talk about it there are way more paternity far from a woman. A man doesn't know that kid is his real kid unless he take a paternity, but a woman knows it's a kid. What the hell are you talking about? Just like that crazy, um, the white girl who was saying about, well, women need to have their paternity test too. Uh, you don't know that the baby came out of you? Now, there is a unique situation where there have been, childs have been swapped in the baby room and everything. That I understand, but let's be honest though. You know who you're having sex with. It's quite easy. And I don't, and I, and I, like I was talking to my mom yesterday, and I told her, my mom was like, I'm happy you are not bad and stuff like that. I was like, yes. A woman has never, ever, I have myself turned down sex in the past. Because one, I know, okay, from my first interaction, sex can get you in trouble. And I have never let uh, a woman, like I said, I have never valued um, uh, the, J the, the JJ, keep it, keep it in for um, YouTube, see? I never valued the JJ, okay? I had a situation where a person was like, oh, it's cool, I act, we, 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 it was, con uh, what do you call it again, consenting, we was, we was just talking, and before the act happened, I was like, hey, you sure? Hey, you sure? They come back later on and tell me about, oh, well, I need this, this, and this. And I was like, what? I said, wait a minute. And I'm going to, this is, you know, the, the TLDR was like, she was like, I gave you this. So you should give me, and I'm like, wait, I gave you this, and I gave you this. You gave me for JJ, I gave you penis. It was equal exchange. And nothing else about that was that. And I leave it at that. So I've never been charged by that. I've been in my bed and people uh, call me and say, oh, yeah, uh, can you come home? I'm like, it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm not leaving my bed. Sorry, good. You find a toy, find something, but that's not me. Heck, I think people drive an hour and a half to get to me. So it's, it, like I said, everybody's different. But anyway, you, for men though, you gotta control your libido. You have to. If you want to be successful, you gotta control it. Do not let any person just throw stuff at you. I don't care how pretty the girl is, and I have. See, it makes no difference. You control that. You find out. Life will be way more easier. But in the game, let's let's just play the story from um, this this, this um, tenant at school. Hey y'all. So I can't tell y'all story time of what happened Friday at work so y'all know i work at a school in the front office so y'all right for dismissal we had a dad came in and wanted to check out his child okay that's normal okay so we was like okay hold on a second because the secretary wasn't right up there she'll be here in a minute then another dad walks in he wants to check out his child as well okay give us a minute so she came back, she got his um the child's name, told her the child name, okay, mm -hmm. she pulled it up, print out the slip, went ahead and ta asked the other dad his child name so he could pull out the slip. So she can print out the slip to call that child up, you know, at the same time, just call everybody up. 
got the child's name and it was the same child's name, right? She was oh, like, we got no. two kids in the school. <laughs> well, okay, let me pull it up. So she- And that can't happen because I, I, I there was a, a, a person I was searching for and I remember I was searching for something and then, some, and then I looked at it like, wait, this does not, it, it kind of looks like the person but it does not identify, oh, it's two different people, but they got the same first name, last name. And they look almost similar, like, they, like they're twins, but it's two different people. So that can't happen. But anyway. Like, this is the um the same child he just checked out. And so the, they both look at each other, and Dad was like, um, why, are you checking, why are you checking my child out? Who are you? And he was like, who are you? What you mean? I'm her dad. And so me and the secretary looked at each other. I was like, I'll be back. Let me go get the principal right now. Cause like at this point we need the principal. We need somebody to call the school officer. Like you need security. What is really going on here? So the principal comes to the front and she was like, um, what's going on? Well, I'm here to check out my daughter. I'm here to check out my daughter too. I don't even know who he is. And he's saying he here to check out my daughter. And so the prince was like, okay, let, let me get mom on the phone to come up here to, you know, to see what's going on. So, you know, I get the, in front of the car for the principal to go ahead and call mom up, right? To see what's really going on. Now, th now that is crazy. And that is too funny to me, okay? It's funny, it's sad. The child gets put in the middle of this nonsense. And all the stuff like I've said before on all, my, all uh, Project Open Mic videos. Like I said, when I was young, I thought, whoa, yeah, yeah, dads, dads with their kids. There are a lot of dads out there that want to take care of their kids. But I'm finding out more and more the women put themselves in some messed up situations. And they just got to do that. So the heck is going on? It's messed up. It is messed up. And it was a video that went um, for me. That went, um, I think I said viral. But for me, there that was, was um, when hospitality. That was these women from Africa, I think they were. You're talking about, you know, because they always say we should have paternity tests at the beginning. Even there are even husbands who are fathering kids that their wives cheat on. Again, the wife knows it's not the child, but the father does not know this. This is this, this is just messed up. And you would do that. And it's a, it is a crime, but they don't do the, they, but they, there's no real penalties to it. There's none. And I wanna give a shout out to this. My coach, Greg Adams that explains it in better ways than I could explain it. Let's play that clip. And the biggest uh, abuses of child support in itself is not a crime in the United States. Exactly. A woman can put any man on the birth certificate, can claim yep. he's the father, can allow this man to raise the child for several years, uh -huh. and then if it is revealed that the person is not the father, nothing happens to her. And a matter of fact, any of the money that he invested in that child, time, energy, money, attention, it just goes to waste. And they just say, oh, you know what? Man up guy, deal with it. That's just the way it is. Well, we're talking about equality here. The system itself demonstrates that there's no equality here. You can't tell me in the technology that we have today. Sure. You can't tell me in the country that we have today that a DNA test, simple DNA test swab cannot be performed on all newborn kids. And the funny thing is, you know who's balking at having this particular type of thing done? Women. Yeah, they don't want it done. They're like, no, this is not fair. These men should just step up. They should just sign the child's uh, the birth certificate Heck and they no. should just take care of their due. So guys, although... So I wanted just to play that. Yeah, are you out your mind? No, I'm not doing that. That's why... And I, get, and I gotta put the fault on men and uh, accountability and fault on men as well too. Control your libido. One. Two. Vet this woman. Three. Don't have unprotected sex with the chick. That's why I ain't done. Okay? Take care of yourself, bruh. Do not have unprotected sex with no woman. If the condom breaks, which has happened to me myself as well, hopefully you vetted that woman enough before you have sex with her. That's on the men. 
I, I, I put that on the mint all the way. All right? Women also have a, a very big role in this. Why y'all are protecting yourselves? Having a child changes your life. Having a child might change. There's someone who bounce back and live a better life and do all that stuff. Good for y'all, blessed for you. But a lot of you single mothers have children that has messed up society. And again, you should break the chain of poverty. That's the part that kills me. There are systematic racism, which is that you go and have a child by a person and then you put them on child um, child support and all that stuff. That why you need to put them on child support? If you're good, you're independent, and you're strong and all that stuff, you don't need a man. Why would you do that? But again, I blame the men on this as well too. Again, I went through this with my first girlfriend who tried to put a child on me, but that was not my child. I was protected. I, I, the kind of didn't break, nothing, whatever. But that opened up my eyes to like, wow, this is crazy. That's why I never had unprotected sex with no woman. And also, I told my grandmother and my, uh, my two grandmothers, rest in peace for one and the other one, wishing best wishes for. I told them, I'm not having a child unless I'm married. Now, of course, I'm married. But I, I, and like I said, even that just be a thing. But I'm not that. You gotta vet the people, okay? Even at my age, I was like, yo, I'm not gonna have. You know, I might. I, I was selling down to okay, I might have a woman with one kid. And even that was crazy enough to see some of the damn entitlements some of you women want. I literally said on profiles because I tried to in profiles and stuff like that. I didn't. I didn't want to know dag all man course or pick up a woman course. How to talk to one course. Of course, those is a, I'm telling you right now, man, those are scam. All right? Is there a way to talk to women? Yes. But I'm not paying nobody to do something that if a woman can't like, like me or love me for who I am, as quirky as I am and all that stuff, just, just like a video I did talk about the whole, you know, women say, oh, we want conversation and blah, blah, blah. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, there's, there's barely a few women who do that. No, you, you, you ain't. But that kind of situation, yeah. I'm not um, playing that with none of that stuff. You have to vet these women as best as you can, just like you would tell women to vet these men. All right? I said, I would say to women, yeah, with hell sex. Before I got married, the relationship I had before I got married, I didn't have sex with a woman. The relationship before, yeah, my, I, that, I didn't have sex with a woman. I have dated women and I had sex with them because I was cool to that and basically because of my my first interaction it basically told me sex gets you in trouble that's why I had to control my libido and I thank the Lord for putting that lesson in my head to like yeah you know what I didn't you know it's crazy so guys you gotta take that responsibility if you do not want to be part of this you don't want a woman plus the government knocking on your door messing up your opportunities for this and women don't come with this stuff. Oh, men are cheaters and all that stuff. Women cheat ju just cheat just as bad and more than men. They cheat worse than men. Because again, a man can never say, I was, uh, this child is not yours because what, what are you going to do? But a woman can. And the more she break down. That's why I always say, men are assholes. Women are vindictive. So, if my thing always been, if you're going to cheat, just tell me and cheat. I'm not gonna get angry. I'm not gonna get pissy. I'm just like, oh, you want to cheat? Go right ahead. Leave me the, just let me know and leave me the heck alone. Cause I'm not gonna be playing these games. And again, the kids are one who feel this. And you gonna tell me that kid ain't gonna grow up feeling some resentment, some messed upness about this because what her mom did? Of course she will. She gonna need therapy. Can, she, can a woman like that bounce and become a successful woman? Yeah, um, child to be a woman? Yes. There are few people out there who break the cycle, including the black, but they're not enough to break the cycle enough to get the black community in America out of the trouble, okay? 
we need to break the cycle of self. Yes, with slavery. Yes, I get all that. But you never been a slave. And is you you have a mind that tells you, okay, yes, this has happened. Right from bad from good, good from bad. Okay. Do not do not have a child like this with a situation. Sadly, enough, I've seen many of my family family members done this. I've seen friends done this. And I'm like, and I'm and, then, and then when I see the kid how they raise and I'm a shocked, I'm like, oh wow, I'm not surprised. Now there's some people I have talked to, and a, a friend of mine, I've well, a couple friends I've done this to, but one that signed up from four was a, was a girl who was a single mom, and you know she was just her mother was a single mom, sorry, the daughter, and she went through a lot of crap, and I was like, man, that sucks. I wish. I wish the best for you and everything. This should not be happening. And she was like, oh, and I told her, she wanted, she just wanted a girl who wanted to be with me. And I'm like, yeah, we can't do it because we, I'm far apart, long distance and all that stuff. To the, uh, long story short, she's married. She has a kid. She's happy. And she, I remember when she got married, she called me and told me, hey, thank you. You're the only person to believe in me and stuff like that. And she was suicidal. She tried to kill herself not you know, a couple times. So, yes, I say... I understand it. Don't become a single parent, you know, out of out of anything. Ladies, just if I'm not saying you can't have sex, but protect yourself at least. And guys, same thing too. Protect yourself, okay, before you get in a situation. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later in the next one. This train or chases. Remember, peace out. Evil comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors, but the most thing I'd say, people are stupid individuals, be that smart individual. Peace.